I love to watch the birds that come to my bird feeders, but I have to confess, I'm not always sure which bird is which. So lucky for us, Pandy English has joined us here at the Warner Nature Center, and she's gonna give us some great tips on how to identify the birds that come to our backyards. What really is the first step? The first step is getting a good field guide. Okay. And you know, the Peterson field guide's always been a good standard. There's, there's many out there now. There's Sibley field guides, Peterson field guides, what we used to call the Robin's Golden Guide. So get you a good field guide and then get you a good pair of binoculars. You know, they don't have to be expensive, especially just in your backyard. With about 300 different types of birds living in Tennessee, don't expect to learn them all in one weekend. Start out simple. Winter is a good time to start identifying birds because they're coming in closer for the, the food and you're starting off with our winter residents. But it's a building process. You cannot learn all the, the birds at once. Start off slowly. And be focused. If you're trying to identify a bird, focus on that one bird and complete your identification of it before you move on. Make yourself a bird characteristics checklist and work your way through. Look at the size, look at the hard parts of the bird, you know, the feet, the bill, uh, and then you start looking at color patterns. Do they have wing bars? Is their uh, breast streaked, or is it what they call clear, just solid white? Uh, do they have a pattern on their head? Do they have a brow stripe? You can also look at the tail. Does they have a long tail, a short tail? Some of the birds you're most likely to see are Carolina chickadees. They've got the black cap and the black chin, the tufted tit mice, and they have a crest, and that's another identifying characteristic. The northern cardinals, in male and female, the male's going to be the bright red, the female's going to be the duller brownish color. You're going to have blue jays, for sure. You're going to have the red-bellied woodpecker, you're going to have the downy woodpecker, possibly the hairy woodpecker. On the ground, you've got the uh, morning doves, and you've got things like the white-throated sparrow. There's also the white-breasted nuthatch, the dark-eyed junco, the house finch, the Carolina wren, and the goldfinch. For the serious birders, Pandy recommends keeping a bird journal. You know, this date, I saw these birds are approximately this number of this species of birds. You know, just because a bird is common today doesn't mean it's gonna be common tomorrow. So bird feeder information is very important information for, for us to collect and to know. If you want to find out more about birding in Tennessee, email twra.birds at state.tn.us. They can answer just about any question you have, and they've got great resources like this field checklist. And as I look through this, I realize it's going to take me a little while to complete. But like Pandy said, start one bird at a time. It's just another way you can enjoy nature at home.